Oakville's David Peck works with international NGOs, helping them to build capacity for public engagement. He can now add filmmaker to his resume, and his documentary, Broken Courage, will be featured in the Oakville Festivals of Film and Art this Saturday at film.ca. Nikki Wesley spoke with David to find out what inspired him to make a documentary about a child soldier halfway around the world. One of the lessons I've learned as a filmmaker now is that I think you could parachute anywhere in the world, not that I'd want to, but parachute anywhere in the world with a camera and start making a documentary film. You know, we all have rich stories to tell. Years ago, David Peck was traveling with his wife in Cambodia. We went to this museum called the Siem Reap War Museum. How do you spell serendipity? And, and I met this man and didn't know his name and he wandered us around the museum and, and we chatted and a good 75 minute visit and then uh, spent another extended period of time just sitting with me talking about uh, Canada's landmine treaty and he knew about that talking and here's you know he's a he's a landmine survivor as you know and and yeah again we're back to story we're back to relationship and he just uh, he planted a seed without even knowing it. That man was soon Ratana a teenage Khmer Rouge rebel, a soldier with the Cambodian army, a prisoner of war, and a landmine amputee. When David returned to Cambodia years later for work, he went looking for Soon. That's part of the reason why I personally was drawn to this story. My own, my own journey of redemption, my own dealing with my own issues, you know, and, and so I connected with Soon in a way right out of the gate, you know, and and, and, and that has fascinated me. How, what do I have in common with a former child soldier? But I think there's a, there's a message there for us all. We have so much more in common with others than we think. And instead of demonizing and othering people that we seem to so often do, whatever political side of the spectrum you s seem to find yourself on, how about just, um, I don't know, embracing one another? How about trying to understand? From start to finish, Broken Courage took more than eight years to make. It shares the story of Soon's journey of healing after horrific trauma. After debuting at the Cambodian Film Festival, David is excited to show it right here at home. I really hope that people are going to learn about a part of the world that I believe they should know more about, that we should all know more about. And I think one of the lessons, one of the takeaways is that it's, it's worth listening to others. You know, it's worth leaning in and, and just maybe putting the clipboard down and the, the notebook down and, and getting to know that person on the other side of the world or across from you in the room. In the future, he hopes to take the film on an academic tour to help educate. So I'd love to get it into Ottawa. We had Canadian ambassador representation at the, at the film in Cambodia and they were blown away. And uh, I'm hoping to get back in touch with them and work on a showing in Ottawa. Because there's so many issues there. There's landmine issues, there's political issues, there's social issues that are, are addressed. And indigenous issues, frankly. There's a connection, in, in, in my opinion, to, to uh, some of the healing that needs to go on here in Canada. How can we say sorry? Do you know the word sorry? Not enough. Broken bones. <laughs> mm. Broken leg, broken everything, broken courage. This is a strange life. He is on the journey of trying to heal. He grew up as a survivor. This is the mind of a survivor. I will survive. I am Itsu Rotana.